hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me if you are new welcome to my channel darling it is so awesome to have you here if you like this video going through please subscribe to my channel and show your support if you are a returning subscriber if you are a part of the shan shan gang welcome back sweetie You know, I love when you guys are here with me. I love when y'all be communicating with me in the comments and everything. Thanks so much for coming back. Now, guys, this is the look that we are going to be creating today. And this is a Valentine's look. This is for everyone that, you know, you're going to be celebrating Valentine's Day or you want to do a photo shoot. This is the look that I have for you today. It was pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty quick. So there's no hours up in hours. <laughs> so this is the one that we are going to be creating or that I created for you guys. So y'all don't have to be going through all the trouble of trying to find a makeup look to slay on that day, to slay on that photo shoot. I got you. I got you, okay? I got you. Also, if you be loving this gray hair, sweetheart, I wore this out on my birthday. Yes, your girl had her birthday pass. And um, if you haven't, well, if you haven't seen the pictures yet, you're gonna have to jump on my Instagram, okay? Do see them. <laughs> So darling, we are going to get into this. I had so much fun doing this for you guys. I hope you like it. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. All right guys, so let's get into this Valentine's makeup tutorial. Honestly, I last minute decided to do a Valentine's makeup tutorial. I did do um a valentine's day look on my page but i didn't really um do one uh for a makeup tutorial so i decided to do one for you guys um this is for all the people that are celebrating valentine's day they want a soft and simple glam makeup look or this can even be a daytime look honestly because it's it's actually very versatile. If you don't want a super glam or over the top look, this one is perfect. All right, so you know me by now. I do my brows first. I literally create a culture to do my brows first. If you have a set um, way for doing your makeup, if you have like an exact pattern that you follow when you're doing your makeup, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I'm going to be going into this really cute palette, taking this really pretty chocolatey brown, and I'm going to be going into the uh, crease and also the outer corner of my lid and bringing that out a little bit um, onto the tape. I will also be using these two light colors. That brown color, I will be blending that into the brown to get a really nice smooth transition. And I'll be using the other light yellow looking color to uh, blend that into the crease as well to get a transition for those colors I definitely broke out in songs here I don't know what was going on but this song has been stuck in my head all day and I just decided to sing it out it's called night like this by Kalani I don't know what just happened going into my masquerade palette and I'm taking that really beautiful uh, brownish red color and I'm going to be going on top of that brown a little bit with that color um, just to blend it in. I don't want it to overpower it. I just want a smooth uh, color. I want it just a bit brighter. Going into that pink and I'm going to be blending that uh, with the brown 
uh, just right beside it I'm not gonna be putting it in it like the red one because I really want a really nice transition for this one. Oh my gosh this color is so beautiful it is so bright I love it I'm going into the Zulu palette hey now and I'm taking that pink color down by the bottom I'm so sorry you guys did not get to see that color um, I thought I held the product up high enough unfortunately I did so I'm sorry about that going into my sweet pink palette by Juvia place and I'll be taking that shimmery pink and I'm going to be putting that in the inner corner of the eye and also on the other shimmery pink that I had before it was just so beautiful I had to mix them and see what I got and I'm so happy I did All right guys, so I went into that pink again from the Masquerade palette just to give it a little bit more color because I felt like the color was lost a little bit. And I'm also gonna be blending that pink and brown up in the crease to um, just to get back that nice smooth transition. I felt like I lost a bit of color. So I'm going into my highliner and I'm using the Wet and Wild eyeliner. I love this eyeliner so much, guys. Honestly, because this eyeliner tip is just amazing for getting that sharp, precise tail that I want. I really do love it. I messed up a bit so I decided to clean up that eye. I mean it was not enough for it to be like overwhelming but I decided to clean it up anyways. I'm also making a little cat eye in the inner corner of my eye but you don't have to do this. Now I'm going in with my favorite primer. Oh my gosh, this Master Prime is so amazing. It's by Maybelline and I love this primer so much. It feels so velvety smooth. I'm going in with some foundation, taking my L'Oreal True Match foundation and also my Huda Beauty foundation. And I'm going to be putting that on my face and blending it out. So I'm jumping in with some powder. <laughs> I had it upside down. So I'm jumping in with some powder by L'Oreal True Match and my absolute favorite brush for applying powder. That's by uh, Urban Studio number 161. So my hair fell down and I thought blowing it up would work, but of course it did not, so I had to remove it from my face. Going in with my setting powder by Sasha Buttercup, I did not use any concealer under my eye because I did not want to. That's the reason why I didn't use it, but if you want to, you can go ahead. So I'm going to be uh, setting under the eye just to brighten it up a bit and also uh, down the bridge of the nose. I'm going in with my black pencil, lining those water lines. I am just blending or smoking out that black a little bit because it was a bit too intense for me. So after removing the powder from my nose, I'm going to do my contour. I'm going into the Warrior 2 palette and I'm going to be contouring my nose, my cheekbones and the rest of my face here. Again, if you don't want to contour, that is okay. You can skip this part.
Okay, I'm going in with some lip liner. This one is by LA Color by... I'm sorry. This one is LA Color in the shade Chestnut. And um, lately, if you've actually been on my Instagram, you realize that I've been actually doing a circle or a circular outline of my lips instead of um, following the natural shape of the dip. And I've been loving it, so I've been switching between these two techniques lately. Going in with this beautiful pink bubblegum uh, looking lip gloss. It might smell like bubblegum, but <laughs> it tastes nothing like bubblegum. I was just being silly here. Just ignore it. <laughs> Okay, so this is my favorite part, my absolute favorite part, highlighter. Oh my gosh, I went in with a lot of highlighter because you know I love highlighter. I swear if JPS cut off the power, cut off the light, I would still be glowing in the dark. Alright, so I'm going to be highlighting the brow bone. Um, I just feel like it gives like a really pretty shimmery effect once it's highlighted. So I'm highlighting the brow bone on both sides. Going in with some mascara. After the mascara, guys, you can literally be done and that would be the look. You would slay that look like... This would be you if you are, you know, if you don't want to do all the lashes and whatever. For me, I'm definitely going to be doing the lashes. This is the final makeup look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below if you do. And subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.